Yeah, they know they actually are starting from scratch on Pershing High School, and it's a pretty big deal because Pershing actually opened its doors back in 1930. So a lot of alumni send their kids here, and it's no doubt in a, a legacy school. Um, and the new and improved building would actually be right there on the football field. It's going to be the newest building on East 7 now yeah. in years. It's hard for Principal Jonathan Matthews not to gush when he thinks about getting a new school. It's one thing to build a building downtown, but when you build into these communities and they know that they can use this every day and this part of their home, it changes the outlook. It gives hope. A lot of folks who live in this area graduated here and sent their kids here. Vincina Ware is certainly proud to be a doughboy. The school is exactly the same when I went there over 30 years ago, but it's clean, it's not torn up. While it seems structurally sound on the outside, Pershing has a laundry list of problems. Eroding walls, a leaky roof, and paint that ships onto floors. There's a lot of old stuff in the building, like the heat don't work sometimes, the air, and stuff just need to change. Dr. Nikolai Vitti says improving district facilities was one of his main objectives when he signed on as superintendent. There is a lot of students that should be attending Pershing that don't attend Pershing because they're not comfortable with the building environment. The school has capacity for 600 students, but just under 400 attend. Vitti says the total rebuild and demolition would cost $60 million. The price of renovation would only be $10 million cheaper. If we just renovate the existing building 10 years from now, we'll be back at the table with, well, we need this huge investment because it's, it's the upkeep that's associated with it. Persian is a historical building. Don't tear the school down. It's a legacy school, and some of them are really sad to see it go and, and don't want it to be demolished. What is your message to them? Completely understand. I mean, I think everyone um, is attached to some kind of building. Vidi says parents, students, and alumni will have a lot of say on the final design. Junior Nevea Fisher thinks ultimately this is a good thing. I feel like a new building would be, you know, an investment for the city. Well, Vidi says the good news is during the rebuilding process, students won't be displaced because they'll finish the new one before they knock down the old one. He says the entire project shouldn't take longer than five years, and they are funding all of this uh, improvements in the district with their $1.2 billion COVID-19 relief fund. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. Yeah, the